So welcome to my channel and on this channel we talk about music, politics, art and everything in between really. <laughs> Apparently, a door for sexy. Okay. And witty. <laughs> So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have, I took a, a, a few weeks off and I'm gonna also take next week off. You know, a girl has to get a break cause um, birthday's coming up. So we have to plan and make sure that everything is just almost perfect. Yeah. Anyway, uh, there has been a lot of stuff that has happened over the past two weeks. And it's just, I even, even as I'm making this video, I didn't know what I was going to talk about even like, because there's so much that has happened over the past week from the political scene to the social scene. It's just been crazy, but I'm going to start this video off by talking about the Zambian finance minister, Margaret Monakatwe. I hope I'm saying her name right. And she was, there's a video of her going around and she is just out of it basically like just you know you have seen a few i'm sure you've seen a few people who've been drunk and they're trying to stay awake and stay sober like some of us have been there before <laughs> you know when you're drunk and you just like yeah <laughs> and trying to stay awake um i think that was just so embarrassing and disappointing and this is not the first time that she has been in this situation where she seems either drunk or drugged i don't know but it's just embarrassing at this point some of course you know people are in support of her saying oh everybody's tired and and yeah it happens but that's not tired I, that's not that does not look tired to me at least i don't know if it looks tired to you like that's how a tired person looks i mean that's personally when i look at that video i see a drunk person trying to stay awake and then finally just passing out <laughs> and if she is you know other people are saying no maybe she drank some drugs and they're making her drowsy I'm made to believe like a doctor will tell you when you drink this, it's going to make you feel drowsy. So preferably drink this medicine at night or when you're not doing anything and you just want to relax. Da, da, da. That was not the right time for her. If she was on medication, that's not the right time for her to be taking whatever medication it is that she took. If she took that medication. Because you know you're going to be in a meeting. There are going to be cameras rolling. We need You are the minister of finance. Okay, You are in charge of our money as a country. Yes, the kwacha is in free fall. Maybe that's why you're also like, you know, in free fall. But that, that's unacceptable for me as a leader. When I see that, like, no, that's that's unacceptable. Oh, support your women. You must support your women. No, I'm not going to support that. I'm going to support things that are positive, you know, like that are uplifting women that are making us look like we can actually that it doesn't even matter that she's a woman. That's not acceptable. If, if, if that way a man out of also made this video that's unacceptable other people are calling for her resignation to say she should resign zambian leaders politicians and that word resign or step down it does not exist there's no they don't have morality they don't have self uh self moral compass to say okay this is you know what i cannot do this so let me just step away it doesn't exist there's nothing like that you'll find that most likely she'll be taken from that ministry and put into another ministry that she has no idea about and that's the other issue putting people to work in places that they're not qualified for she, i don't think she's going to resign i don't know she's not going to step down she's not going to resign because the privileges that come with that office are too much for her. i mean she's being she's affording to get that that beer in expensive <laughs> It's just embarrassing. It's just embarrassing. And when they the leaders do resign, when they say, okay, I've stepped down or I've resigned, that's their campaign now. Oh, I'm the only leader to resign while in office. Oh, yeah, you should vote for me because I resigned when I was in office. No, no, that should not even be like. Anyway, tell me what you think about this video, you guys. Like, does she look drunk to you? Is that a drunk person? Or do you think it's drugs? Or is she just tired? what do you think is that okay for a leader to be like that i i want my leaders strong you know even if they're tired at least they just put up this to encourage me as 
person just be like oh okay my leader that gives me motivation to be like if my leader is tired she's been working from four to now and she's still able to function who am i to not get up my butt at work you know motivation but our leaders are like okay another issue is uh there's this video going around of a certain lady i think i did talk about it you know leaking nudes and stuff i think that's just attention that people want to give this girl um i don't think any normal person in their right function in mind would put out if they're, they're not a porn star or they don't get paid for it they would put out their videos exposing every part of them on the internet to just get ridiculed so i don't think she the same girl put out her nudes out you know they are like that i don't think she did it and then of course during this fracas there's been another girl who's trying to get clout from this situation and i'm so glad that we're not giving her that clout like yeah we did for like one hour and then she's old news like she came and went so fast and then she's been making videos and trying to be famous on facebook but i'm just happy that people are like Ugh, because we see through it, we're just like, she just wants attention and we're not giving her that attention. And I'm not even going to put up any pictures of these two girls that I've talked about, but they have been trending on social media. The Quacha is free falling, <laughs> you know, against the dollar. So, but of course, <sighs> I don't know. I, it just makes me so nervous uh, when I think about what our country is going through really Zambia to be specific and most African nations anyway it's just disappointing that's what I wanted to come here to talk to you about because this video has gone viral by the Zambian finance minister but next week I'm not gonna be here so I'm not going to make a video next week probably making the next video being June but if you're lucky I'll probably make a a nice little video because you know when i get drunk like i'm mini finance minister for my birthday so wish me happy birthday <laughs> thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video please like share subscribe and leave a comment tell me what you think about this whole crazy situation thank you so much for watching bye